now a team of motorbike riders are setting off from Norfolk this week en route to Chernobyl. Their aim is to raise £10,000 for charity to fund holidays for children affected by the nuclear disaster. The trip marks the 25th anniversary of the tragedy. Fiona Oates has more. With 500 years of experience of motorbike riding between them, the team of 10 off to Chernobyl say they've done as much preparation as they can for the gruelling 16-day ride to Russia and back. The aim is to raise at least £10,000 for the Chernobyl's children's charity, and to achieve that involves around nine hours a day on the bike. The journey will take them through some challenging terrain. One of the team members is Dave Kingdom, who works for Anglia Television. The average daily mileage is about 280 miles and um, it's going to be quite challenging, definitely. Um, we've got two very big road um, sections. One is the Stelvio Pass in Italy, which is lots and lots of hairpins. And the other one uh, is referred to as the best road on the planet, which is in Romania. It's the trans Highway. The money raised will go to help fund more holidays for Chernobyl children. Every summer, host families in Norfolk take a seven-year-old child for a month from the affected area. The purpose being to boost their immune system. The bike trip will also include a visit for the riders to the reactor in Chernobyl. We've got one guy who um, is from the north of, uh, north of England uh, um, and works at the Magnox nuclear reactor plant. He's the emergency planning officer. So he's a very keen biker. He's going to be joining us on the trip and um, he'll be able to give us some of the facts regarding radiation and contamination. With just what they can carry on their bikes and hostage to the weather, the 4,200 mile round trip will be no easy ride. Fiona Oates, Anglia News, Norwich.